Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying the new Ferrero Golden Gallery. This is a Ferrero signature. Uh, the Art of Variety, eight recipes, so there's eight different chocolates, a fine assorted chocolates, 24 premium uh, specialities is how it looks like it's written. Uh, this was $10.99 at Meyer. Um, so you have a, a dark opera, a coffee, uh, a white chocolate with almonds, a caramel, uh, a white opera, a one with uh, milk chocolate and hazelnuts, uh, milk chocolate with a milky filling, and a hazelnut duo. They are, it says, eight servings are in the container, three pieces are 170 calories. So it was, um, it had plastic on the sides here, and I opened it up to see if I could take a picture, and I really can't because um, there's plastic over it. So, is that our cheat sheet? Oh yes, a nice fancy dancy cheat sheet. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this. Very easy to remove. It's good it's sealed though. I mean, it's sealed twice. The box is sealed and then the actual yes. pockets are sealed. Wow, and that smell comes out when you, the smell really comes out when you do that. So I'm gonna take a picture and we'll be back. Those are probably already been cut. Like a long, a long group piece. They do look like they've been cut. Uh, they have been too. cut. It is, okay, this is interesting. Um, because they showed this one on the front and I thought, oh, well they're just showing for some reason none of the other ones are cut. Why is that one cut? Well, it's because they've taken like a big log and they have literally cut slices, which I have never in my life mm -hmm. seen in a candy box ever yeah, like this these is like sealed pieces like yeah this solid. is the first time ever i have seen <laughs> slices like that um it's different. it is different um let's try the biancoretti is this one the white one yes a luscious <clears throat> white chocolate square filled with amaretto flavored cream and crispy amaretto nibs in the center creates a memorable flavor experience. It's like white chocolate flavor. Mm, it's a good flavor. Mm -hmm. Very vanilla. Mm, it's quite tasty. Mixed glued in. It is glued in. <laughs> the longer Let's go. The longer you chew that, as with anything, the more the flavor comes out. And I'm gonna say something very bold right now. I can't imagine anything in that box topping that one for me. It's, because it's I like it that much. Mm -hmm, it's really good. That is, like on a, a sweetness scale, it is, <laughs> boing, it's yeah, gone. It's very, very sweet. <laughs> Very um, vanilla flavor. It is excellent. I love the white chocolate. I, I don't really get amaretto though, or amaretta. I, I got the, uh, uh, it was a cherry flavor for me. Yeah, um, just tastes like vanilla. To the me. crispness of yeah, like the, the little, chocolate when you bite into it. I like the little crunchies inside. It's so pleasurable. If you like, if you get into texture like that, that is nice. Uh, that's fun eating. Uh, let's try the white opera. <clears throat> the sweet notes of this white chocolate cup it's like a little basket filled with hazelnut cream and topped with a layer of rice crisps will lavish your taste buds through a journey of rich flavors and textures so this is hazelnut it popped right through too mm. it's an excellent hazelnut flavor it's very strong which mm -hmm. I like Aren't they known for their hazelnut though? The Ferrero, Ferrero Rocher. Rocher or something like that. Mm -hmm. Don't they make the little hazelnut mm -hmm. balls? Yeah. That's good. Yes. You need to like hazelnut because yeah. it's very strong. Some things we've had have said hazelnut and you can't even taste it at all. This is, it's like they've come to play. Yeah. It's very, it's very, very strong. strong, very sweet, but I still like the first one better. Okay. So let's see let's go for this one that is caramel leonardo every time i hear the name leonardo i'm horrible i think of the ninja turtles no, really? i always think of the ninja turtles yeah 
Because Andrew grew up watching the Ninja Turtles. I think Leonardo DiCaprio. A delicately salted caramel is enrobed with a delectable milk chocolate in an elegant bite-sized masterpiece. So caramel, delicately caramel milk chocolate. It's got a, a nice size little, it's a liquid caramel. It's good. It has a good caramel flavor. It's got little crunchy bits in it. It's very rich. Very, very, very rich. Very sweet. Mm hmm. Mm, that's good. Uh, once again, there's a, it, there is a crispness to it. Crispness, not Christmas. Crispness to it, but not like with the white chocolate. Yeah. It's not as crisp as that, but it still is crisp. <clears throat> and then it has little crunchies on the inside. The caramel is very sweet. Um, super, super sweet. Um, I have to say, uh, these are little, uh, they're, they're all small pieces. They're little delicate pieces, aren't mm -hmm. they? They're, they're almost a feminine looking because they're so um, small, but I like them. I think they're pretty. Um, Next, we have the um, Hazelnut Duo. That's the slice. That is the slice. The slice at the bottom. And I guess it's just easier for them to make it like that? Probably. I didn't tell you what it was before I put it in my mouth. Mm -hmm. mm. I love that texture. Mm-hmm. Well... That's what's special about this one. It's called Hazelnut Duo. The contrasting duo of crunchy hazelnut nibs with exquisite silky milk chocolate results in an irresistibly satisfying flavor and texture experience. It's not a whipped chocolate, mm -hmm. but it is a fluffier chocolate. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, it's not a, light, a solid. Light, airy kind of chocolate. Yeah, it's not a solid right. milk chocolate. I like that one. It's I don't like it as much as I like the other ones. No, but it's like good. It. I do like the texture because it has that kind of fluffy feel. Okay, the the circular one, milk cupola, a delicious milk chocolate shell with dark chocolate decorations and delicate creamy milk filling. This perfect sphere of chocolate will tantalize the senses from start to finish. That one kind of is like a whipped chocolate. Mm-hmm. Very airy. I love the texture. I love the texture. That's kind of the, the least flavorful of the bunch so mm -hmm. far, but but it's good. All I get from that is just sweet. Yeah, it's just a sweet milk chocolate. <clears throat> no. There's nothing profound about it. It's just, it's very good quality though. Mm -hmm. It's very good quality milk chocolate. Not like a, some around here. I was going to say a name, but I didn't. That was nice. Um, Got three more. Then we have the. <clears throat> this is the. This one. Um, Jayanjunot, Jayanjujot Fiero, a homage Angela. to Jayanju. The solid hazelnut cream created in Ferrero's first pastry shop in 1946. This new and unique creamy confection. Made with precious Piedmont hazelnuts, reveals a story of passion and dedication. The texture is so different. Mm -hmm. It's just a solid chocolate, mm -hmm. but it's a it's a light chocolate. It's very they've aerated it somehow to where it's not whipped. It's solid, but it's like it's it's solid, but it's it still has a thickness to it. Yeah, but it's kind of fluffy too. It's, it's, it, that's good. It's, I like, the, I like, like it fudge. too. Yes, I was gonna say, it's kind of like fudge because there's not, there's a little bit of a grittiness. Just, just, just a, a touch, a, yeah. a touch of, of grittiness to it. Like a sugary grittiness. Yes, yeah, a good grittiness. I like that. It, uh, the, um, um, the hazelnuts were very strong in mm -hmm. that too. Yeah, they were I don't think they were the hazelnut was strong as strong as in that um, the white no, chocolate. No, but you got hazelnut. But you got hazelnut. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, we got had, a basket and some kind of little dark chocolate looking thing. Okay, let's do the basket first. 
Nothing that's that the, like to me. That's the Dark Opera. In, well, it looks like a box to it me. Yeah. Inspired by the intensely enjoyable experience of an Italian opera, the bittersweet notes of the dark chocolate cup topped with delicate cocoa shavings give a richly nuanced and layered discovery of hazelnut and cocoa. Hmm. No, it's mostly just dark chocolate. Well, you're left with that dry kind of bitterness in your mouth. Um, yeah, that's, that's all you're called. supposed to get. Well, it said something hazelnut, but I didn't get taste any hazelnut. Oh, no, I didn't taste hazelnut at all. No, because the dark chocolate just kills it. The dark chocolate, <clears throat> it's, it's, um, it's pretty strong. It's very strong. It does dry your mouth out, mm -hmm. but I didn't think it was as dry, I mean, as, uh, as dark as what we've had. Oh no, that we've had darker, and it's not as bitter as like a Hershey's dark. Right. So I think a special dark is kind of bitter and. So this like this is enjoyable to eat, yeah. even though it is very dark. It is enjoyable. It's yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice dark chocolate. It just kills the hazelnut. That's the bad thing. I saved this one for last because it's coffee. Oh. Designed to transport you to an Italian cafe, a cream of rich coffee blended with a layer of finely ground 100% Arabica beans is dark. encased in a dark chocolate shell capturing the essence of Italian coffee culture. The whole thing is dark. The whole inside is dark. Oh, it's crisp. Mm -hmm. Definitely coffee. That's what I would imagine eating instant coffee with by a spoon would taste like. <laughs> coffee beans, chocolate covered coffee beans. Yeah, just pure coffee grounds. I don't really like that that much. I like coffee, but I don't like those. I like it a lot. Do. Mm -hmm. See, Andrew and Christine would like that because they like mm -hmm. those espresso beans and stuff. It's yeah. too strong for me. I love the, the combination of the coffee and the dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. It pairs perfectly together. I think as far as the crispness level, that one was the, probably... Oh, yeah. The like crispest one in the, in the, in the box, uh, that was delicious, but I was right about my prediction. The first one? The first one was my very favorite in the whole box. That was the, um, the white chocolate filled with amaretto. It's called Bianca Reddy, uh, is how I would say it. Um, and it was just, it was absolutely delicious. It's, it's thick. I love it. Uh, what is funny is we paid $10.99 for this box, and then we were in the Dollar General, and Dollar General has these boxes. I don't know how much they were, but they were not as large. They were like half the size. So, so you probably got two of each. Or something. Right, whereas we, we, in this box, you get three <clears throat> of each uh, variety. And that box, you might only get one of each, no, or sure. one, or I would think two, uh, because it was probably half the size of this. So just know that you don't have to buy this big box. I did not know that. I thought, oh, this is new. I need to get it where I see it, because I had as yet to see it anywhere else. Oh. Um, so just know that if you do shop at Dollar General and you don't want a box uh, that's this large, you could get a smaller one and probably pay half the price <laughs> too. Um, I think this is an absolutely delicious collection. Though. I think it's good too. My favorite one's a slice, by the way. Really? I love that fluffy texture. Okay, that surprises me. I would, I, it would, I like it, but it wouldn't be one of my favorites I at all. Like, I like all of them pretty much. All Except of them. the dark one. I like every single one of them. I wouldn't turn any of them down. This would make a terrific gift to give somebody. It would. $10 um, gift. You got $10 gift to take to a party. Even if you buy the one at Dollar General for <laughs> half, I mean, and it's, I don't know how much it is, five or six dollars. Stick a bow on that with a card and you've got yourself a great gift. Mm -hmm. I don't know of anybody that would try this and say, oh, that's trash. It, it's absolutely delicious it's chocolate. Good. Very luxurious chocolate. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.